Hello my dear students I hope you all are doing well I am back on my channel with some another new topic that is fraction What is fraction Fraction is a part of whole What is whole Okay so let's discuss about whole first Unbroken object or shape is called whole Here this circle is whole because this is not divided into parts okay okay when we are talking about parts then we will discuss about half and one fourth only right so i want half circle of it for getting half i need to divide the object or shape into two equal parts okay i am repeating when we want the half of any object we need to divide it into two equal parts so i have divided this circle into two equal parts it is looking like this okay this is half and this is another half i have divided the circle into two equal parts and each part is half of that circle this is half and this is another half when i put both the halves together i will get back the whole circle you can see this is the whole circle okay this is half this is half circle and half is written as 1 upon 2 why this is 1 upon 2 uh, because we are talking about one part out of two equal part we have divided the circle into two equal parts now and now we are talking about this part only that means this part is one part out of two equal part okay this number is telling about this part only and this number is telling about total number of parts right so this 1 upon 2 is called fraction yes this is fraction because this is part of whole circle okay this one is a part of whole circle okay so we have discussed about half now we are going to discuss about 1/4 so now we are going to learn about 1/4 okay i already told you when we are talking about half we will divide the object into two equal parts but now we are going to learn about 1/4 that mean we have to divide the object into four equal parts so here i have divided the circle into four equal parts okay you can see i have divided the circle into four equal parts and each part is 1/4 of the circle okay this is 1/4 of the circle this is also 1/4 of the circle this is 1/4 of the circle and this is also 1/4 of the circle okay now you can see 1/4 is written like this 1 upon 4 okay why this is 1 upon 4 why this is 1/4 because this is this is one part out of four equal parts you can count 1 2 3 4 total parts are four we have di divided the circle into four equal parts so this is 1/4 1 is telling about this part only and 4 is telling about total parts okay so that's why it is written as 1 upon 4 so this is 1/4 of the circle when we keep all 1/4 part together we will get the whole okay you can see this is full circle this is whole circle because we have kept all 1/4 together now we will find out half and 1/4 of the shape which is already divided into some parts okay so here is rectangle which is divided into four parts 1 2 3 4 so now i will find out the half of four so for half we know that we need need to divide the object or number into two equal parts 1 2 3 4 all the parts are finished so let's count this side 
1 2 that mean 2 is the half of 4 now we will divide six pieces of rectangle into two equal parts okay these are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count this side. One, two, three. That means three is the half of six. This time we will find out one fourth of these eight pieces. Okay. And we know that for one fourth, we need to divide them into four equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all the pieces are finished and we have divided them into four equal parts. Okay. So Let's count this part. One, two. So... Two pieces are here in each part. That means 2 is 1 fourth of 8. So that's how you can find out the half and 1 fourth of shapes and objects. Right? You just need to remind that if we are talking about half, we will divide the object into two equal parts. And when we are talking about 1 fourth, then we will divide the object into four equal parts. Okay. So that's all about this topic. I hope you all understood. Your homework is attached in the description box. Please check it out. Do it carefully. See you in next class. Till then, keep smiling. Keep shining. Stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.